Good morning, Model Maniacs. Dirk here with another Coffee Time. Cheers. We got straight up black rifle today, no decaf. The wife ran out of um, her creamer, so she wasn't going to have any coffee today, so I got to have pure caffeinated goodness today. Anyway, Coffee Time. It's been a little while, and... What you're seeing here is a car that you're all familiar with. I know you've all seen this before. This is my rendition of the um, the uh, Tom Daniel Batman car. What an epic car. Um, this car has a special place in my heart because, well, um, if you saw my How I Got Into Modeling video way back in the beginning of my channel, this was the very first model I had ever built. Well, really my dad built for me. I just sat alongside of him looking over his shoulder thinking I was cool. But yeah, this um, was the kit. So when it got reissued some time back, I jumped on it. It was one of those instances where I walked in the shop, the shop owner put the box on the shelf as he was unboxing them, and I took it right back off the shelf before he even made his way down the next the next aisle. Um, I love the bad man. It's just cool really really cool and this one like all other cars it's kind of falling bad times it looks like the suspension is needs a little TLC um, but not really here to talk about this model here what I'm here to talk about is this one here this is my version of the Batman cam cameo right it's pickup cameo yeah version of the Batman car yeah, it's cool. This is the AMT kit. It's the bare bones, nothing special about it. It's the yellow truck on the box from AMT. Um, I just took it and using all the parts from a Batman kit, the suspend, front suspension parts, uh, the the uh, the spoiler on the front, the tank, uh, even the engine and seats, roll bar, all that stuff comes from the Batman kit even the, the, the roll bars, I mean the wheelie bars. It all comes and was all incorporated into this to make it. Now, yeah, I'm sure you can, using the original kit, you could probably make it more realistic, but the point for me was to make it identical or parallel to the original Batman kit. And to be fair, I'll be the first one to criticize my own work, but to be fair, I think they look great together. I really do. And my goal is actually to get the um, wagon version of the Chevy and the convertible version of the Chevy and make them into bad men also. Um, I just like the theme. I think it'd be really cool to have them all here. And if I can, um, to get the uh, the uh, the delivery wagon. What the hell is it? Old Sarge, I think it comes in in one boxing. I can't remember the name of it. But that, that panel wagon would be another one to be cool to uh, make into the Batman version. Again, using all the same stuff from this original kit um, to give it that authenticity. The red glass, all that stuff would be really cool. So yeah, that's, um, that's what I have to show. I believe both of these uh, have video series on my channel. Um, it's hard to remember, and the reason I say that is because there was a point in my channel where I was going along, I stopped, I tore it all down and restarted, so some things may have been lost, some things may not have, so that's um, why I'm saying I'm not really sure. But anyway, these are two of my favorite builds. I think they're really cool. So, the bad man. And for those that are interested, I'm just putting it out there right now. I am toying with the idea, well, back up a second, 30,000 foot view. Years ago, um, me and another modeler, Chris Cortell, got together and we started hosting a Tom Daniel group build where everybody got together and built the Tom Daniel kit of their choice. Um, we ended up backing off a little bit um, because, you know, you, you can only build so many at a time. It was going to be a yearly thing, but. You know, as, as every year passed, more people dropped out. And I get it because, you know, you need some time in between. So now it's been several years since our last one. So I'm hoping that people are now um, 
would be now re-energized and wanting to build a Tom Daniel kit. So, um, you know, just keep that in the back of your mind if you're interested to maybe start digging away for a kit. I think we're going to do that, um, and it would be coming maybe November-ish. That was always the time of year that we started the build. But, um, you know, put it down in the comments if you're interested in that. That'd be, you know, I'd give me an idea of what's going on. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, this next item I want to show you. It was done a bunch of years ago. Um, for those that are... Don't be afraid, guys. It's not real, okay? But this... This is a gun. It's not a real gun. This is a prop gun. This is a gun... Uh, well, actually, this is modeled after the gun from Star Wars... Um, Star Wars Clone Wars. These are the pistols used by whoops. Uh, by um, Clone Trooper Rex, C Captain Rex, Commander Rex. I forget. It's been so long now. Um, but yeah, that's what these are. This is a fake gun. This is made out of this. This is just a what one and a half inch piece of styrofoam insulation styrofoam it comes in and you get four by eight sheets and it also comes in squares i think two and a half by two and a half um but yeah it's cool you take this shit and you cut it up carve it and you can make all kinds of things with it and that's what i did with this i made this gun it's pretty cool um it's very dusty um but yeah captain rex's laser pistols from the Clone Wars. It's pretty neat. It's just, like I said, it's it's foam. Mostly the, the insulation foam I showed you. Also some other um, smaller quarter-inch type foam sh sheets that you get from the hobby store cut up and everything and you carve into it and you can pass a heat gun over it and it opens up the cr the, the, the um, cuts open the uh, the detail in it. It's really cool. And then but yeah, this is the guns from Captain Rex. They look pretty cool. And uh, when I take them out, some people get very, very nervous. Like, what are you doing with guns? Oh my God, the world's going to end. But yeah, they're just fake guns. They're made out of styrofoam. Maybe they should have had guns like this on a set of rust. But anyway, I digress. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, we're progressing on our Honey West Cobra build. If you haven't seen that, uh, the Cobra from the AC Cobra used in the TV series Honey West, um, that's getting near completion, but that's going to have to go on back, back burner because we're going on vacation tomorrow. Be gone for about two weeks. So there'll be nothing to see there. Um, you know, otherwise it's been quiet. I did have to make some uh, supply runs. So I went out to the local train shop near me. There's actually a train shop. Choo-choo. And he's got a lot of good stuff in there. Um, not so much for modelers, but he does have the supplies like paints. You know, I need some paints. Um, got a bunch of those that I can use. Um, I got some wiring for another project that's coming up, a Star Trek project. Um, and then I made a trip over to the model car garage and I bought some stuff from them what I got from them is just um, some flocking I got some red black and tan flock um, all um, stuff that I, I plan on using in different builds and then or and or covering future builds you know you never know they're the basic colors I think so I should be good to go with that um, and then I bought some photo etch. Um, you know, I don't have anything on the agenda to do right away, but I do have these kits in my stash, just 68 Mustang GT, uh, photo etch set. And this one is a 68 Mustang Shelby detail set. Um, both models I have in the stash that I hope to be building at some point. Um, so I just kind of got those for the moment when I saw them. They weren't that expensive actually. So, figure what the hell. So, you know, that's pretty much where I am at the moment. Um, so, you know, I hope everyone there is uh, doing well. And I won't, like I said, I won't see you guys for about two weeks or so. So, till next time, 
Be strong. Go ahead. Let's hold, pull this down first, right? Push this. Yeah, hold it down. Yeah, and then first. do it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was cool. <laughs> Look at that. This one went way up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome.